AV Calculus, section 4.3, page 10. Today we're looking at uh, some more graphing f of x from the graph of f prime, but we have some different things going on here. We've got some jump discontinuities going on. So when we start, first off, the zeros of f of x are negative 3 and 6. We're just going to kind of tuck that information away for now. And let's start off looking for the critical numbers of f of x. And the critical numbers of f of x occur when f prime is equal to 0, f prime undefined, f prime does not exist. And looking at this graph, where does f prime equal 0? There are none f prime gets close to zero down here, close to the x-axis, but it never hits it because of those open circles. f prime undefined, we see those pieces right here where this is, um, the graph is approaching an infinity, or the y value is here approaching an infinity, so that is at x is zero. f prime does not exist. That's looking at f prime from the left versus f prime from the right, and we see that right here f prime from the left side of negative 2 is getting close to 1, and f prime from the right side of negative 2 is getting close to 0. Same thing over here, f prime from the left side of positive 2 is getting close to 0, and f prime from the right side of positive 2 is getting close to negative 1. So f prime does not exist when x is plus or minus 2. We also need to look for possible points of inflection. On f of x. And where that's going to occur is where f double prime is equal to 0. f double prime of x is undefined. Or f double prime does not exist f double prime equal to zero, that's slopes of tangents on f prime. There are none here. f double prime undefined, where slopes of tangents on this graph are approaching infinity, and that's right here at x is zero. And f double prime does not exist, where a tangent line cannot be drawn, and that's gonna be right here at x equals plus or minus two. In general, once a derivative it, it picks up this undefined or this does not exist, then the second derivative at those same spots have those same values. All right, setting up our interval here, we can look for uh, 0 plus minus 2, so uh, 7 intervals. x less than negative 2 at negative 2 up to 0, from 0 to 2, at 2, and x greater than 2. The f of x column, there's nothing to fill in here because the only thing we had were these zeros up here at negative 3 and 6. None of those values showed up in this table, so there's nothing to fill in. For f prime, we are going to look, because we're reading an f prime graph, when we fill in this column, we're looking above or below the x-axis on f prime. Let's see, at negative 2, we had a does not exist. At 0, an undefined and another does not exist down here at x is 2. When x is less than negative 2, this graph of f prime is positive. When x is between negative 2 and 0, f prime is positive above the x-axis. For x between 0 and 2, f prime positive, and x greater than 2, f prime negative. Now, f prime tells us about increasing or decreasing on f of x. And 
uh, right here we see changing from an increasing to a decreasing. That's going to give us a relative maximum. No extreme value here as we change from increasing to increasing, or here as f of x changes from increasing to decreasing. What we can see is that at f prime at 0, we have an undefined slope that leads us toward a vertical tangent. And these two does not exist here. If we look back at the graph, as x gets close to negative 2, this graph, the f prime, gets close to 1. And from the right-hand side, gets close to 0. That means on the f of x graph, we have a slope of 1 coming in and a slope of 0 going out. That's a corner. Likewise, down here at x is 2, coming in from the left-hand side, we have a slope of 0. And from the right-hand side, those y values on f prime are getting close to negative 1. We have another corner coming in here. All right, let's take a look at f double prime. f double prime, we have some does not exist and an undefined. To read an f double prime graph from an, or excuse me, to read an f double prime from an f prime graph, we will look at slopes of tangents. All right, when x is less than negative 2, slopes are positive. Between negative 2 and 0, positive. For x between 0 and 2, slopes are negative. And greater than 2, slopes positive. f double prime tells us that f of x is concave up or concave down. And the only place we could have a possible point of inflection is where we change in concavity. Um, that's right here, concave up to concave down. Change in concavity, and yes, there is a tangent line, so this is a point of inflection. Here we change from concave down to concave up, but there is no tangent line there because there's a corner. So x equals 2 is not a point of inflection. Once we have all of this information, let's go ahead and sketch a graph. Remember, we need to see the zeros, negative 3 and 6. I'm going to put my zeros in for f of x. negative 3 and 6, and then we start reading our chart. To the left side of negative 2, f of x is increasing and concave up. Here's negative 2. To the left side of negative 2, our graph needs to be increasing, concave up. Increasing, concave up. Now, coming into negative 2, we've already decided that we're going to have a corner here. Coming in at a slope of 1, and coming out at a slope of 0. Then for x between negative 2 and 0, increasing concave up, going into a vertical tangent at 0. Increasing concave up, going into vertical at x equals 0. We have a point of inflection here. From the other side, uh, increasing concave down, doing this. Coming into x equals 2, we've already talked about that. We have a corner coming in at 2, flattening off at 2, and then coming out. I'm just trying to figure out where this lines up at. At a slope of negative 1 here. And for the rest of it, decreasing concave down. Up, but we have to hit that 6. Something like that. Something like that. 
there we go. The only thing that, the last thing I would do is to go back and just put in some slope pieces. Here's a slope of one, zero, So it's vertical here, point of inflection, slope is zero coming in here. And I think that's about it. Okay, thank you very much.